Please encourage me to create new videos. Please like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. In this video we are going to look at singleton design pattern. Singleton design pattern ensures that a class has only one instance or in other words a single object. This is useful when we don't need to change the object with each request such as database connection objects or message broker connection objects. The username, password or connection URL of these connection objects remain consistent across requests. When multiple parts of application request the object, no new instance is created. The same object is returned each time. Benefit of singleton design pattern are Better memory utilization By creating only one instance of the class, memory usage is reduced. High level steps for implementing singleton design pattern are First step is declare a static member variable to hold the singleton instance. The variable type and the class name should match. Step 2 is define a private constructor to prevent instantiation from outside the class. Step 3 is define a static method to assess the singleton instance. Step 4 Optional Add other methods and fields as needed. Now going to the next slide. Please note that attempting to instantiate the singleton class with new singleton object will cause an error because its constructor is private, restricting direct object creation. Step 5 is obtain the singleton instance or singleton object for the first time. Step 6 is use the singleton instance to call the desired method. In step 7, on retrieving the singleton instance again, the constructor is not called and no new object is created. Please note that second singleton instance calls the do something method again, demonstrating that multiple references points to the same instance or object. This is a running code example of singleton pattern. The singleton instance is assessed multiple times without creating a new object. You can see the output below. In the output, you can see constructor is called only once if we are creating the object for the first time. In this line, we are retrieving the singleton instance for the first time by calling the get instance method get instance method returns object it has the logic that checks whether the object is created or not if we are requesting the object for the first time it creates the object on repeated calls it does not create the new object it returns the same object. You can see constructor is called only once if we are creating the object for the first time. This is the second call to get the object and you can see in the output that no new object is created.
For better understanding, please download the source code from GitHub repository. I have provided the link in the description section of this video. Please encourage me to create new videos. Please like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.